what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joking Johnson 4 and welcome to game number 5 of season 4 of my Madden 15 Ultimate Team series it has been a good season so far you know we got another win uh, but we won 7 to 0 and it was pretty much of a short game so I don't know if I should consider that one a win but you know I guess it was just a warm up towards this game and also as I told you guys before in my previous video I told you guys I was going to bring you guys two videos in one day because the other one was, was way too short and it wasn't it, does, it doesn't deserve to be in the series, you know, sometimes, somehow it feels like that because it was just too short. I don't understand why my opponent quit. So anyways, no changes to my roster, guys. Do not worry about the lineups. Nobody changed at all. No secret signings. Nothing at all. And, uh, well, all I gotta say about my opponent is that uh, Demontre Moore really owned his quarterback so bad. That's why I got the, his name on the title. The Monster Moore. This guy ended up being sacked like three times the whole game, but it was like good sacks, like on third down sacks, as you can see, Jadavian Clowney and Demontre Moore doing a hell of a job in sacking this guy. I'm glad I signed these two guys. I mean, they're, they're beasting it up. Not only on this game, they also beast it up on other games. You guys can go back into my games and you can be able to see how these two double teamed the quarterback badly on previous games. These guys just pass rush like crazy, man. These guys are two good pass rushers, so... Anyways, nothing going on in my opponent's offense. Intercepted by Mike Adams. Good time, you know, to be Mike Adams this day because I don't know. I just feel like I need somebody else up there. I just really feel like uh, somebody needs to replace Mike Adams at some point because I already had him like for the longest time since season two. So I don't know. I've been, I'm gonna be looking for a free safety pretty soon. So there he goes, another sack by Demontre Moore. Pretty much a nice sack on that play action rollout. Back on offense, Jason Morrow catches the ball between two defenders and takes it over 70 plus yards. Touchdown. Jason Morrow, no celebration, just class. Look at that guy. Still have a hell of a tight end, man. Hell of a rising tight end. Y'all should have been getting this guy a long time ago because I think he was kind of worth it so far. I know there's some other guys standing out there like that are better than Jason Morrow, but you know, for now, I think he's doing pretty good. So anyways, back in the offense after another interception, I believe. I don't know how I got the ball back. Uh, you guys saw how I got the ball back. Let me know in the comment section. Anyways, back in the offense, trying to pass the ball. As I told you guys, this, this was going to be a more of a passing offense year. I haven't had a chance to run the ball at all. And if I do run the ball, my offensive lineman ain't blocking. So I really need to recruit a new O-line because it, it is really showing. I'm just passing the ball most of the time this year. The Marius Thomas nice open route right there in the post route leads me into almost a touchdown one fucking yard away just like that game that I lost 10 to 0 to uh, Brandon Marshall also was was also like one yard away of scoring a touchdown and I was like god damn it so anyways and you know what this is if I do show the kickoff you know what happens let's see how flashy either Joe McKnight or CJ Spiller get Joe McKnight receives the ball trying to do a little bit of a juke towards the inside oh and breaks a tackle Takes it towards the right side. All the way. Janikowski can't get him because he's a fat slob. Joe McKnight. Over 100 yards of kick return. Joe McKnight. Touchdown. Puts me 14-0 against this guy. That was a hell of a kick return. That has to say that was like my number one kick return of all time. It has to be. I mean, I literally just ran down the middle. Juked the hell out of I don't know how many players. And took it all the fucking way. That one has to be one of the best kick returns out there. So, I don't know about you guys. You guys got any, you know, any thoughts about that kick return? Let me know in the comment section. Cause it was incredible. Anyways, back on defense. This guy trying to get his best to score. Nice cross route right there. I'm, I'm gonna give it to him. Yeah, he did pretty good right there. And bam, Demontre Moore out of nowhere. Three sacks, three tackles. Amazing. This guy's on fire. And the bullshit begins. What the fuck? Are you serious? Like, three defenders like are standing around this guy, yet he catches a, catches a touch. And like, what the fuck? I was like, alrighty, eh? you want to be fair, I guess. You know, be be yourself. I guess, I guess EA really wanted to give him a touchdown, so. Uh, whatever. Back on offense. Since he can't still stop my passing offense, you know, pretty much, I'm going to try to go passing. But this time, I tricked him out. Ryan Tannehill running it for over 20 yards. Touchdown. One of the most rarest sight you can ever see, guys, because most of the time the options don't even work in this game. So it's pretty rare to see, even see that with Ryan Tannehill. I mean, 20 plus yards, touchdown. You're lucky to see it today on Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Mike Adams with the second interception, pretty much giving me back the ball on offense. 30 19. He actually ended up sacking me. I 
lob it to Jason Morrow, but god damn it, drops that one-handed catch, which could have been a touchdown. I was like, what the fuck? It could have been one of the best touchdowns of all time, but drops it. Actually, it reminds me of that Gronkowski catch. He would have done that Gronkowski catch. It would have been amazing. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, because I'm, I'm a little bit thirsty. I need some water right now, but... Yeah, that could have been a great Gronkowski catch by Jason Morrow. No, I'm not going to lie. So anyways, I ended up winning, guys. I ended up running the time down after I intercepted the ball yet again. And um, I won 24-7. It was a good game. I think it was a good game against the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, this guy tried his best, and uh, I'm going to give him credit for it. Um, he really got me in that touchdown. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but I guess so. And that was Brandon Marshall, by the way. He had Brandon Marshall. Uh, most the, the players that actually stood out on his, on his team was uh, Aaron Rodgers and Brandon Marshall, and that's it. Maybe a little bit of his running back, but that's it. I don't think he ever stood out anything else. So, yeah, pretty much of a good game, guys. If you guys like the game, make sure you leave a like. And also, if you guys want to support the series, leave a like because I'm going to the Super Bowl. I promise you guys, I am feeling it. I'm going to the Super Bowl. So, <sighs> more Madden 15 Ultimate Team coming up tomorrow, guys. Make sure you stay tuned, like around 5.30 p.m. It's going to be back-to-back. -back. Yes, you heard it here right now, guys back-to-back -back Madden games. I usually just upload it like every other day, but I decided to actually upload Wednesday, Thursday, and actually Friday so we can have to, you know, some Madden fever going on here. So subscribe for more, guys, if you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team.